This identification is on the Nazi attack on France and the takeover of France in June of 1940. Nazi Germany launched an all-out attack toward France on May 10, 1940. And within a few weeks, Hitler and Nazi forces roll into Paris. On June 14, 1940, the Nazi army came into Paris and took over Paris. On June 22, 1940, France completely surrenders to Nazi Germany in just six short weeks from when Hitler started the Blitzkrieg Offensive. This article shows here that even the United States was being mentioned. It states Hitler success perils the United States. France surrenders. So France uh, completely surrendered and their leader Charles de Gaulle fled to England to basically lead the resistance and be the leader of what was called Free France. Uh, but de Gaulle had to stay in England or he would have been captured and executed by the Nazis. Here's a bizarre picture of Adolf Hitler standing within view of the famous Eiffel Tower in Paris. He was uh, going around in an open jeep celebrating uh, taking over France, which uh, you may remember back um, almost 30 years before uh, World War I, uh, there was a four-year war uh, in which France was never taken over. But now, and, and, and Hitler was a, a foot soldier in that war. Now, uh, in 1940, uh, Nazi Germany took over France. People from all over France went on the run, millions of people went into hiding, tried to live in the country. People left Paris, people tried to go uh, anywhere they could stay out uh, away from Nazi troops. Uh, however, still there were many French who were sent off to work in slave labor camps. And this was the beginning of Hitler's nightmarish rule of Europe. Here you see Nazi flags hanging over um, a famous landmark called the Champs-Élysées in Paris. Uh, and the people in, in France were terribly upset over having lost their freedom. And they would be under Nazi rule for almost four years uh, until uh, the United States began the, the famous liberation called D-Day in 1944. Here you see French being ar arrested, civilians, uh, many were sent off to work in slave labor camps to build Hitler's tanks and weapons. Many of the French were to die in these camps. Uh, it was part of the slave labor plan. Uh, and these workers were generally worked to death uh, and would die in these camps. So the French started what they call the French resistance and Nazi soldiers frequently killed civilians in retaliation or anyone who was suspected of being part of the resistance. So France fell in June of 1940 and they were under Nazi rule for uh, all the way until 1944, June of 1944. Uh, it was the beginning of their freedom. So uh, that's the fall of France.